This is part number 15028. Here's what it looks like. This is the end that it attaches to the steering box. This is the end that attaches to the steering column. And this is the bolt that comes with the package. What you have here side by side is the old steering shaft, which could be original, and the new one, which is a reproduction. And one difference that I noticed immediately is square opening, square opening. But if you flip them over, square opening, round opening. You're looking down at the power steering gearbox. We're going to take the cap off of the steering input gear. Is it just gears all the way around? No. It sure feels like it. Oh, there's a there's flat, a flat spot, spot right there. Okay. So there's a flat spot here where this white mark is. And we're going to match it up with the flat spot on our intermediate steering shaft. And we're going to put a bolt in there, and we're going to bolt it up, and we're going to be done. So I can put a bolt through it now. Do it. The bolt is through. Okay, it's connected though. Oh. See, if you look real close, you can see that there's some wiggle there. But my expectation is that when Dawn's done tightening, there'll be no wiggle. <laughs> yeah, it's still got significant wiggle. Surprising amount. This joint right here using the, the stock bolt still had slop in it. So what we're gonna do is drill it out for a larger bolt size and we're going to tap it for that bolt size so it, it should be a very nice fit. We're drilling a 27 64th hole for the 12 millimeter diameter bolt that we're about to put in. This is our solution to slop at this joint. We're going to tap this hole all the way through. We're gonna put a M12 by 1.5 bolt through there. Put a nut on it and some Loctite and call it good. Loctite 263 on these threads. Your steering is not really the kind of thing where you want the bolt coming out. <laughs> yeah. So I actually recommend running that bolt in there pretty much fully tight and then putting the nut on. Because this isn't like this is not like other situations where you know you're running through a hole that is loose. Okay, no. Don't overdo it. Because you don't have to. Most of the time you're running through a bigger than the bolt non-threaded hole and you're putting a nut on it, but that is not a ply here. See? <clears throat> uh, smells so good. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's not really coming apart. And now for the rest of the story. This is the shaft after one year and 150 miles. Paint would solve the rust problem, but the seals cracking can only be solved by getting a better part. If you know of one, please post it in the comments.